Hello, everyone. I am Xiao Xu, a third-year PhD candidate from Harbin Institute of Technology. I'm honored to present our work to you at AAI 2023. Thank you for your interest in our work. Bridge Tower: Building Bridges Between Encoders in Machine Language Representation Learning. This work was done during my internship in the MSRA NLC group. And I would like to thank Intel Cognitive Computing Group for their support and discussions. Let's get started. The goal of vision language research is to train a smart AI system that can understand both image and text. Here we show some popular vision language tasks. Visual question answering is one of the most famous tasks, which needs to answer a question based on the input image. Since 2019. With the help of large-scale self-supervised pre-training on image text pairs, transformer-based vision language models have achieved remarkable progress. Various model architectures and pre-training objectives have been proposed based on different textual and visual towers. Microsoft joined this race through Unicode Wheel, and since then, works have spun up like mushrooms. From the point of view of the model architecture, recent works can be seen as the two-tower architecture, which consists of three modules: a textual tower, a visual tower, and a cross-model fusion module on top of them. The VL models differ in the design of the three modules. For example, the Clip model from OpenAI uses transformer encoder as a textual tower, vision transformer as a visual tower. And dot product as a shallow cross-model fusion module. For Unicode VR from our NLC group, word embedding is used as a shallow textual tower. Faster RCN is used as a visual tower, and transformer encoder is used as a cross-model fusion module. Meter proposed by Microsoft Azure AI uses Robota as a textual tower, and the Clip VIT. Of swing transformer as a visual tower. OFA uses the first three blocks of ResNet as its visual tower, and employs transformer encoder and decoder as its cross-model fusion modules. Recently, Realm proposed by our NLC group directly uses word embedding and linear projection as its unimodal towers, and focuses on the use of. Mixture of modality experts in cross-model fusion module. If we step into the unimodal towers of the cross-model architecture, such as meter model, we can find the only feed the last layer unimodal features directly into the top cross-model fusion module, ignoring the semantic information at the different layers of the deep unimodal towers. The question is therefore naturally arises. Can we build a bridge between different layers of pre-trained unimodal towers and the cross-model fusion module to utilize multi-layer unimodal features? Therefore, we propose bridge tower architecture. Different from the two-tower architecture, bridge tower builds bridges between the cross-model fusion module and the unimodal towers. The main difference is that two-tower only fields. The last layer of features, but bridge tower gradually fills multiple top layer of features. Here is the detailed architecture of our proposed bridge tower. We adopt robot base and clip YT base. As unimodal encoders, for the top six layers of unimodal encoders and the six-layer cross-modal encoder, bridge layers can build bridges between encoders at each layer. This enables effective bottom-up cross-modal alignment and fusion between visual and textual representations of different semantic levels of pre-trained unimodal backbones in the cross-modal encoder. It is important to notice that. One can apply any visual, textual, or cross-modal encoder in the proposed 
bridge tower architecture. We conduct extensive experiments on different design choices. First, the definition of bridges, that is, how the information fuses in bridges. Second, the number of layers, that is, how many cross-modal layers we use. Third, the number of bridges, that is, with the same number of layers. How many bridges should we use? We first investigate the performance and number of parameters for different definition of the bridge levels on the VKV2 and Flinker 30K datasets. Our sum indicates the sum of recall metrics for image text retrieval. X denotes the output cross-modal representation of the previous layer. Y denotes the corresponding input unimodal representation. We omit the layer normalization used in each row. Perhaps unexpectedly, but not very surprisingly, that row A, add and norm, provides the best results using the minimal number of parameters. To study the different numbers of layers, we use our base setting with 12 layer textual and visual encoders. We define LZ as a number of cross model layers starting from the top. Comparing meter and bridge tower on two datasets with different LZ, we find that more cross-modal layers do not constantly improve performance. However, while the only difference between meter and bridge tower is the bridge layers, bridge tower can achieve consistent performance gains for different numbers of cross-modal layers. To fully compare the effectiveness of two tower and bridge tower, we try to establish a setting that progressively changes from bridge tower to two tower. To make a fair comparison, we use a sum of six cross model layers and arrange them into the external part and the internal part. The internal layer has bridge layer, the external layer does not. The first row shows the bridge tower, where all six layers are internal. Then we gradually increase external layers and decrease internal layers. We found a stable drop in performance. And finally, the last row shows the two tower architectural meter model, which has the lowest performance. This demonstrates that the bridge layers of bridge tower, which connect the top layers of unimodal encoders with each layer of the quad model encoder, can significantly improve performance. We apply different visual and textual backbones as pre-trained unimodal encoders and directly fine-tune on downstream tasks to further investigate the impact brought by bridge layers. No matter what visual and textual encoders we apply, the performance of bridge tower are consistently and significantly better than that of meter. We pre-train bridge tower with common MLM and ITM objectives on the commonly used 4 million public data. The bottom table gives the setting of hyperparameters for our base and large model. All the settings provide a fair comparison between meter and bridge tower. With only 4 million images for which language pre-training, our base model achieves impressive performance on VQ V2 benchmark. Importantly, meter and bridge tower use the same textual encoder, the same visual encoder, and the same cross-model fusion mechanism. However, by simply changing the architecture from two tower to bridge tower, the performance on the VK V2 test standard set easily improved 1.09 with the same pre-trained data and almost neglectable additional parameters and computational cost. Remarkably, Bridge tower outperformance previous models trained with 10 times or even 100 times more images, not only in the base size but also in the large size. With only 4 million images for pre training, Bridge tower large size achieves 81.15 on weekly V2 test standard set, which beats many strong baselines pre trained with more data and parameters.
A similar trend also occurs in the visual entitlement and image text retrieval tasks, especially on the Flinker 30K dataset. Bridge Tower base size brings 5.9 games. To further investigate the reasons for the performance improvements, we compare the Pretrain 2 Tower architecture, meter model, and our Bridge Tower architecture by analyzing the clear divergence between attention weight distributions of different attention heads in each cross-modal layer. KL divergence can be seen as the diversity of attention heads. Higher or lower KL divergence means that different attention heads pay attention to different or similar tokens. KL shows the diversity of attention heads of self or cross attention of the visual attacker part of the cross-modal encoder of two models. There are two distinct trends. First, the diversity of attention heads become progressively smaller as the layer goes deeper for bridge tower. But for meter, the diversity of attention heads becomes progressively larger and then smaller as the layer goes deeper. Second, the diversity of attention heads of each layer of bridge tower is significantly larger than that of meter, especially for the first to the fifth layer. Thus, for different attention heads of self or cross attention of the visual or tactile part of the cross model encoder, compared with meter, bridge tower can aggregate more different tokens. We attribute this to our proposed bridge layers, which connect the top layers of unimodal encoders with each layer of the cross model encoder. Different semantic levels of visual and tactile representations are introduced by bridge layers, facilitating more effective and informative cross-model alignment and fusion at each layer of the cross-model encoder. In this paper, we introduced Bridge Tower, a simple but effective architecture for video pre-training. We studied different design choices for bridges. We showed that Bridge Tower achieves SOTA results on multiple downstream tasks. In the future, we will investigate more pre-training objectives, larger scale pre-training, and more modalities. Bridge tower is merged into main branch of hugging face transformers. Available in next release of transformers, estimated in February. Both space and large size pre-train models can be found in the model hub of Hugging Face. Currently, we provide the model implementation of Bridge Tower and the inference scripts for two tasks. For image text marching task, you just need to prepare the image and text and then run them through Bridge Tower processor and the Bridge Tower for image and text retrieval functions to get the marching score between image and text. For mask language modeling task, you just need to prepare the image and text and then run them through Bridge Tower processor and Bridge Tower for masked language modeling functions to get the predict text. In the future, we will release inference scripts for pre-training and fine-tuning downstream tasks based on the Hugging Face Transformers repository. More model checkpoints and notebooks will be provided to help researchers to easily use our SOTA model bridge tower. Notably, code and model checkpoints for pre-training and fine-tuning downstream tasks are available in our main code repository. Finally, build bridges between top unimodal layers and each cross-modal layer can introduce different semantic levels of visual and textual representations, improve the diversity of attention heads in the cross-modal encoder achieve prominent performance improvements on virus tasks. In addition, Bridge Tower can work with any visual, textual, or cross-modal encoder. Paper and code are available on Archive and GitHub. We hope our work can be useful to you. Thank you.